Yo, 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 out there on the interwebs, it's me, your toy friend here, Adrian, with another set of items for you all to see from my holiday haul from Christmas. So, of course, we are looking at some figures, of course, the Ninja Turtles. If you can tell, they are the Eastman and Laird's Ninja Turtle Adventures figures. These ones are actually exclusive to Amazon. I'm not too sure if anyone has picked these up. I did like them because they're based a little bit more off of the Eastman and Laird's artwork. They come in a set of uh, four each. Um, two turtles and two other ones for each set. They do come in a box here. So like it looks like the turtle van. I will show you each box here. This one of course had Leonardo, Raphael, Mondo Gecko, and April O'Neil in it. Let me go ahead and show you the box for the other one here. This one of course had Ray Filet, it had Splinter, Donatello, and Michelangelo. But let me let you check out the figures. We, of course, will start out with the turtles. So, of course, Leonardo right here. The reason I did like these is because these figures actually have the tail on them. A lot of turtle figures were not put out with tails because, unfortunately, sometimes they can resemble a part of human anatomy. So, they didn't usually put them out like that but I just wanted these because of course they're turtles they had tails and of course they're based a little bit closer off of the Eastman and Laird artwork so that was Michelangelo right there let me let you all get a look at the Raphael still have to get these onto the wall with the other figures that I acquired from this line here is the Donatello I think they did an awesome job with these. I'm really liking how they did those. So of course this one on the back, it does have that wave that you can get. And then on the back of this one, it does show the four that come in that set. So the other figures I do have, so this is the April O'Neil. What I found interesting is of course it has her accessories there but they did actually tape another set of accessories on the side of it there I'm not too sure why because I've looked at that one compared to this one and they pretty much look the same I really don't see any difference between them but anyhow let's move on to Mondo Gecko right there it's kind of neat seeing them in more of their traditional, well, just a different color scheme that we're normally used to seeing these in. I especially like how they did the splinter right there. And then, of course, the last one from this set is Ray Filet right there. I think that they did an awesome job on these. I was super glad to pick them up because of course they had wave one it was a little bit on the reasonable side but when they came out with the second set it was a little high I thought and I was luckily I held out and I waited and it went on sale so I was able to pick all of them up and I just wanted to share all of them with you all I hope you are all doing well and taking care out there I'll be back with some other items for you all to see later. Until then, stay nerdy.